Hardy. If you wanted to see really funny... Laurel and Hardy? I thought they were like newspaper guys. No, Aren't they Laurel, the deep throat guys? No, no, no. Laurel and Hardy were kind of like the Three Stooges, but they were better in my opinion. They were way funnier. When were uh, they? When did they? They, they were just the same time. No staying power? People like the no, Stooges they were huge. better? They were really popular. You know, them, you know, Abbott and Costello, all those guys were, you know, great. And I love that kind of humor. It's tough to do that stuff now yeah. because we're just in a totally different world. But I well, love it. You I know, it gets, up. it can get, Super you fun. gotta be, you gotta have something new to it. You gotta have something fresh. Yeah. I've seen the whole eye poke thing a thousand times and I've never yeah. seen a full episode. I've never seen a full short, I should say. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you're missing out. It's really good. It's good stuff. Um. And they tried to reboot the Three Stooges. The, the the Fairley Brothers tried to reboot it. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Uh, I heard if you're a Three Stooges fan and if you like go in knowing what you expect, it's all right. But yeah, no bueno. Yeah, that's what I heard. I heard it was just awful in every way. I yeah. mean, originally, they tried to make it years ago and like Jim Carrey was going to be in it. And uh, I would have been down for that. But they just got like complete no names to be in it. And... Will Sasso was in it. That guy was on Mad TV for I like 14 him on Mad years. TV. He was funny. I liked him on Mad TV. The dude from Will Jordan. and Grace, who was also on Scrubs, was in yeah, it like too. He and Peel were also on uh, Mad TV. No, not Mad TV. The uh, Three Stooges. Artie Lang was on Mad TV for yeah. a season or something. Have you seen Artie Lang recently? He like snorted a bunch of glass. I'm not surprised. I, for some reason, not too long Lost ago, I would just, on Lost YouTube, I would listen to random Howard Stern stuff. Oh, yeah. The guy was the high on, was zooted out. Yeah. Like, ten he years ago. He so funny, too. I heard him on Adam Carolla he a couple is really years funny. ago. Look up sometime. Tragic, Anyone out dude, there. Anyone out there listen to this, too. He went on Joe Buck's show on HBO. I seen it on YouTube. I seen yeah, it. I saw it on YouTube. Joe Buck? No, Joe Buck, the uh, sports now. You're not into sports That's what I much. Said. Huh? I oh. just said the sports guy. I thought you said something. I, I was yeah. trying to text the and guy talk who's to you at the same on, uh, time. Fox, the guy who yeah. does the yeah. Everybody hates him. I don't know why. I think he's I okay. don't have a problem with Joe Buck. I mean, yeah. I think he's you know kidding himself with you know the hair plugs. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, back, back to Artie Lang being See, on the show. We're right, talking yeah, about we're talking Peter about Rabbit, Artie, and now we're talking about Artie, Artie Lang, Lang. <laughs> because uh, that's more interesting. Than just Peter search Rabbit. whatever the name of his <laughs> HBO show was, because. He's just on there. Everyone's being super nice. Paul Rudd is on there. He like went yeah. to high school with Joe Buck is, or is this something. Recently? You saw it? Yeah, YouTube. But it's oh, probably at least four or five oh, years old, I'd say. Yeah. Everyone's being super nice. Paul Rudd, um Jason Sudeikis, the dude who was on Sunny a couple times, uh, Jason I think. Sudeikis. Yeah, I'm not a big Jason Sudeikis fan. Maybe He's... him. Maybe somebody else. There's a lot of guys in comedy that just like they're the same in every movie. Yeah. He's one of them. He's just, like, the same in every fucking movie. Um, he was decent in the movie Colossal, though. I did, like, that. I never saw okay. Colossal. Yeah, it was, it was did you ever see that movie, uh... Was he the one who was... Ah, oh, that was Will Forte. Maybe. He's another guy who, like, sometimes he's really funny. Nebraska. The one I really with, liked uh, Nebraska. I thought it was good. I, I liked, liked that it. movie a lot. I saw it at, uh... Yeah, I saw it at a budget theater, and, um... I saw it on my couch. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it a lot. I mean, he has a serious role in that movie. He's not, you know, trying to be funny. Yeah, and, and he's not uh, bad. He wasn't bad. He was good. Yeah, I found in a lot was... of cases when it, d comedians try to do yeah. like dramatic roles, I, they I like, really, uh, you know, they really do a pretty yeah. solid job. Like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean unless Bob you've Williams seen the number twenty-three, and... that is. <laughs> yeah, the Jim Carrey joint. Joel Schumacher, the yeah. bane of existence. I mean, Joel Schumacher's made some good movies, actually. Give me a couple of his good movies. Falling Down with Michael Douglas. I still haven't seen it. Oh, I want to see it. It's really cool. I don't know if it holds up, but I really like it. I like because Michael Douglas, um, I could definitely see him in that. Oh, he's just playing this guy who just goes loses his goddamn postal. mind. Yeah, I like yeah. Michael Douglas. Um, he's good. Joel Schumacher did The Lost Boys. You know, that's obviously a classic. You know, vampire movie from the eighties. I've never seen it. You've never seen The Lost Boys. Wow. Yeah. Um... Obviously, you know, he directed Batman and Robin, which is amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, he also did uh, Flat, Flatliners, the original. Which didn't was... see it. Somebody at work was telling me about it. I yeah. I didn't even hear about it till the new one came out. Yeah, it's uh, it's good. Like, I mean, Keith or Sutherland, you know, Julia Roberts. Um, yeah, it's it's good. You see a lot of young talent back then. And, uh, 
as you can see, we're completely dirty. <laughs> Peter I'm gonna Rabbit. Do, I'm going to do a Valentine's movie. Um, I was going to do it today, but I was too Not many lazy. Good ones. I'm going to pick the best date movie to watch on Valentine's. The one where Julia Roberts, like her husband, stalks and tries to murder her from the early 90s is one of them. You know what I'm talking about? Sleeping so, with the Enemy, maybe? Oh, Sleeping with the Enemy. She, yeah. I remember, I uh, saw it when I was a kid. I always remember the scene. She flushes yeah. a ring and he finds it. I don't know why that stuck with me. <laughs> he just opened the pipes and was looking for No, the he ring. just opened up the toilet and I guess it didn't. No, so Rings it didn't don't flush. flush. Yeah, just much don't like flush. my fecal matter. <laughs> Too much in fat my in shitty apartment. Don't flush. <laughs> I'm a man who loves Arby's. I'm a man. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, Arby's is terrible. You should never eat at Arby's unless you're getting the chicken there, which they cook fresh. Nah. So, would you get the deli meat there? I don't really go there. Them. I try. I they're, didn't they're go, when I used to go, bad, when right? I used to get Nothing fast food a lot, I didn't really go there even at all. Yeah. I didn't go there. So, somebody dragged me there, like, maybe a couple years ago. Mm. It's all right. I mean, yeah, I had some chicken tenders, some mozzarella yeah, sticks. Chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks are pretty good. But, uh, yeah, you never eat deli meat at a fucking fast food restaurant. <laughs> you just, I mean, just go to a fucking Wegmans or Walmart yeah. and have them slice, you know. You know deli meat's supposed or, to be really bad for you. Uh, only if it's in, like, that congealed bullshit. That, yeah. That's, you know, that deli select stuff in the cartons. But if, if you have them actually slice it. Uh. No, I mean, like, it's super high in salt, or it's super... Yeah, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you just going to fucking eat celery your whole life and be vegan? Give me a fucking break, you know? I ate some calzone <laughs> today. It was delicious. Yeah, you got a vegan calzone, huh? No cheese? <laughs> sausage. I bought a nice Gianelli. Yeah. Free plug, Gianelli. Send me sausages, cocksuckers. <laughs> you sausage-sucking motherfucker. <laughs> Come on, Joe Gianelli. Come see me, motherfucker. <laughs> Speaking of Gianelli, how about that pig? <laughs> it was rabbit. so frustrating. Just, <laughs> that's what comedy is now, man. It's like just sitcom. The yeah, same like, jokes, recycled, yeah, recycled like, here, hey, recycled a, there. Here's a pig in a coat. Isn't this funny? He's Laughing fat. It. He's gonna. He's he gonna, wasn't even fat. That's a yeah, thing. he was the a small was pig. Like he's a, a pig, pig, so he's just gonna stuff his face. That's his character yeah. trait. James yeah. Corden, he didn't bother me as much as you. I didn't really... I, it was kind of annoying at some points, but it didn't really... Yeah, you know, sometimes he was fine, and the next he was just, like, drove me nuts. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's boringly shot. It's It makes a complete tonal shift towards the end where... It got kind of dark. Yeah, well, all of a sudden Peter Rabbit is upset that he's like ruined this I, guy's I life. called it. I told I like, you. What? Didn't I tell you? Why are you upset? Was, you hate that's this That's another thing about this movie. To kill you. It was just a mix of other movies. Like yeah. it had a little bit of Rat Race. It had a little rat bit race. of uh, Roger Rabbit, where the, they could actually yes. talk, but it was CGI. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean it, it had. It ripped off a Simpsons cliches. joke. Did you guys, I know a lot of you guys love the Simpsons, yeah. early Simpsons, like early I do. Simpsons. But if you remember the Cape Fear ripoff episode, they totally rip off the walking into uh, rakes and they hit you in the face. Yeah, but I mean that's been done way before the Simpsons. Did. I can't, I can't, I, I can't mean, abide like, by it. Like every single like old comedy like had some rake joke of stepping on a rake. But did they have <laughs> From, like, like the '40s? Did like, they have the like thing, tons dude. of rakes around? Oh, yeah. Wasn't that Family Guy, though? Did that? Get the fuck out of here if you try to suggest Family Guy. The Simpsons one is from the fucking (laughs) mid-90s, man. Don't get me wrong. Family Guy did it first, man. (laughs) I like Family Guy before it got canceled. I like The Simpsons before season nine. And we're good. Other than that, it's fucking shit. Season, like, 37. (laughs) It's got to be, at least. Hasn't been good in fucking... 20 years, no, man. No, I haven't seen a Simpsons episode in probably 10 years. I, I mean, it's, it's... Life's too short for the Simpsons. <laughs> it's fun. It, the first, like, the... F- that had some really good writers, <laughs> man. Conan how, O'Brien one, was a goddamn writer yeah, on there. I mean, Conan O'Brien's not funny anymore. Yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> the last, like, Simpsons thing I saw was that... When the whole, like, uh, Puerto Rico thing was going on. Like, save Puerto Rico. You know, the whole... The, like, we Not need to send... Not too long ago? The, yeah, when the yeah, hurricane it was, like, it was like six months ago. Yeesh. Like, the last time I watched a new Simpsons they, episode? I didn't watch the episode, but they, they made okay. they made a big deal of it in the news because, like, Margie was holding a flag saying, save Puerto Rico. I was like, fuck you, the Simpsons. Since, like, since, who the fuck since we're on the topic, <laughs> since you got we got going on it, the, Simps- the problem with the Simpsons is they're trying too hard to be like Family Guy. 
too madcap off the wall. Yeah. There's no structure. The jokes have no meaning to anything. Yeah, I, I don't know. All those shows. Like, I remember when I was a kid, like, King of the Hill and, and Futurama. The only show so, that handles politics well for me isn't, like, way over leftist. It's Robot Chicken. <laughs> nah, I fucking... To, I, to be honest, I hate Robot Chicken. I find it super boring, super I, annoying. I, I liked it when it first came out, and then I've never watched it again. Yeah. You know. Um, well, I used to just come home from work or come home from this or there and just turn that on. Yeah, just Adult Swim was just the shit. You know, mm-hmm. you, you, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, on the Rudy Land scale, what would you give this movie out of 10? Because I already know what I'm giving it. <laughs> be a 4. Be a 4? Wow. 4, really. That's Everything looked, the CGI looked really good. Yeah, the CGI was good. The CGI was good. But everything else was yeah. dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Yeah, I mean, my first uh, instinct was, you know, a carrot emoji. <laughs> yeah. The carrot emoji out of time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, between three and four. I mean, I feel like I give it a three, you know, then you're saying it's completely incompetent. And I kind of feel like it is because of the whole music montages. I feel like when they didn't know what to do, they, they just, just had a music, had a music montage. montage. So, yeah, Let's try I, try to remember three. with me. The three? three? Yeah, for sure. Three. Try to remember with me what the music montages were. The first one was in the, the beginning <laughs> to introduce them. Yeah. But a lot of the songs I just didn't remember. <laughs> It wasn't about like this. I can't like, I, I was like, I know this song. Into me. They just played in the. They played <laughs> right. in the background. Yeah. And I could hear it. I'm like, they're seriously playing this song right now. It feel. It felt like the director had his like iTunes playlist, and he was like, hey, let's take all these songs, and yeah. let's put them in the movie. Like this is my workout regimen. Like these are the songs I like, and so I put them in the movie. And they don't work at all. Like there's not one. Well, in the beginning, there's like some French song that kind of works, and then it turns into some weird like turns into like thing. weird electric i even said that in the yeah. theater i was like i kind of liked that before yeah. it turned all fucking techno-y and yeah. shit and uh yeah i mean the movie's just stupid it's and it's and it knows it's stupid it's, it's at the same level as like a nickelodeon sitcom like yeah. iCarly or something or like you know we ever have a little nephew or a little baby around and they have to watch that mickey mouse clubhouse show oh right yeah it's that awful. is as soon as it goes on, I just want to—I just want to blow my brains into <laughs> into existence, into shove, the cosmos. Just want to shove a twelve gauge in your mouth and end it all. Just stick your uh, your big toe right on the trigger. <laughs> I once saw a murder mystery where they proved that was impossible. The woman was too short to actually pull the trigger with her toe. Well, that's why you um, tie uh, a string around the trigger and your top. Do you think about <laughs> trying to commit murders a lot? I found that I do that. Like, just how would, how would be a way to get body? away with it? Like, um, well, I mean, it's not, it's not um, like difficult. I mean, I feel like it's. Uh, I think people kind of. That's what everybody. It. Well, see, here's the thing. Everybody says that, but how come everybody gets caught for murders? Well, because they have consciences. They have a conscience. You gotta not have a conscience. Are you a sociopath? <laughs> Are you a psycho killer? Are you a psycho killer? Did you lure killer? me here just to murder me? Yes, I And exactly. have sex with my trachea or something? Hey, listen, Jeffrey Dahmer was my hero. Ricket, Ricket Dicky Roper, I'm feeling a little saucy tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I try to lure strange men into alleyways and turn them into What are you trying to say? I'm no strange man. I'm a fucking, I'm a immaculate, I'm a... I'm a rudimentary child yeah, from Rudy I, What Land. I'm trying to say is I like making sex zombies. <laughs> I know it's a good pastime, I found. I can't. I'd love to argue yeah. with you. While I may disagree with your morals on this, I have to agree. I'm in a complete agreement. Yeah, sex zombies yeah, are the way to go. Right, because, I mean, everyone's talking about the sex robots, but... Who wants a robot when you can have a I real I saw the movie zombie. Ex Machina. You'll never see a sex robot in my house. No siri Bob. <laughs> Gotta keep it in a cage <laughs> after you're done with it. They, you gotta pull out the pussy, listen, pull out the moth, put it, put it in the dishwasher. Here's the thing: clean it, and then you put it in a cage. How how can you stop it? If we give it super strength, it can just go through the cage. Right, Cages yeah. cannot stop it; they are uncageable. So you need to do like uh, what that? You ever seen the movie Boxing Helena? Boxing Helena. Yeah, like, like the this mountain. Guy, no, he he's like in love with this woman, and so he chops her arms and legs off, and he puts her in a box. Oh. So she can't go. 
This sounds this sounds a lot to me like audition, but less Asian, right. less Korean y. Yeah, it came out before that. <laughs> so yeah. So what's let's since we're here, what's what movies come out you're interested in? What's what do you see on the horizons? On the horizons, I mean yeah, the Predator comes out, the reboot. You see, I'm worried about it, but Shane Black wrote and directed it, right? Yeah, I like Shane Black a lot. I mean, my biggest worry is, you know, he uses CG blood. <laughs> that that looks interesting. Um, I really like Shane Black. I like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I've Kiss, no one, I yeah. don't think anyone's ever ever saw it, though. Yeah, and, and the nice guys is... Why good. are you peeing on the corpse? <laughs> Nice guys was sorry. Right. I don't remember much about it. Uh, Ryan nice Gosling guy. was in it. Yeah, he was um, really good in that. Russell Crowe was good in that. Black Panther comes out. Another superhero movie. I'm not too... I'm honestly sick of superhero movies. I have been for some time. There's a lot coming out this year. A lot of them. A lot and of them are going to keep For many out. more years. Yes. Yeah. It's like the Western. It's, you know, it's just dominating everything. The Western? Yeah, the Western dominated for fucking decades, okay. dude. Yeah. Dominated film, it dominated radio, yeah. toys, everything. TV. For, I mean, for like over 50 years. Hey, yeah. i seen Toy Story 2. I remember. <laughs> trying to think of something else about the movie. But it's just so... There's there's not much to it. That's the reality. It's truly really forgettable. There's not a lot to talk about. The problem with many movies today, really forgettable. Really yeah. nothing to it. As I was watching it, I was like... I, was, I felt like I was starting to drool. I was like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, you just stare at it and you're, I mean, nobody in the theater respected the movie at all. And, like, everyone was on their phone yeah. in the front row. There was a baby crying and shitting itself and the smell of Old Spice and, and baby powder was all throughout yeah. the theater. And, you know, I wasn't even upset. Usually when people are on their phone, I scream at them. Um... But, but it's uh, just, I just, I just didn't the movie care because the movie I just wanted the movie It's a down. shitty movie, so you don't care. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, hey, this guy's on his phone texting in front of me next to his daughter. Maybe well, I can that read was his the text. Moment. That was at the climax <laughs> I was like, of... I was like, I don't even care. This movie sucks. That was at the climax of, oh, God, is it going to ever end? <laughs> there, we weren't at the point where, like, we could see, we could see the light at the end yeah, of the tunnel. No. Right after that, it happened, and then I'm like, all right, yeah. come on. I mean, I was really hoping that this would be, like, so bad it's good. Like, kind of, like, it was this, not. like, unbelievable. I was just pissed off as soon as I came in. As soon as I heard James <laughs> Corden was in it, I was like, come on, man. Not <laughs> not that I'm sure he's not a nice guy outside, yeah, sure but he's, he's, he's not sure he's, nice he's not my favorite entertainer, let's say. Yeah, and he's not really original. His, his talk show is just ripping off Piers Morgan over in the UK, you know, where they have all the guests sit on the couch at once and they all talk. That reminds me of, uh... That's what I was watching somebody talk about this Joe Rogan or something earlier. Like that's what talk shows used to be. Like yeah. they would actually it's more talk. interesting. Yeah, because yeah. they actually you know all have time together and, and it's more of an actual. Talk I saw. Show. A that's dick. why people prefer you know listening to podcasts yeah. like this one. Oh, we're <laughs> nationwide. We're wired for sound, oh, yeah. baby. They're, wound for I mean, sound. I just yeah. said wired. I screwed it up, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll edit that one out, lady. All right. <laughs> I, um, you don't, you ever meet the guy who edits these things? Total slack job. Total jerk. Total fucking incompetent. Nah, total lack wit. Can't believe he's even survived this long. Or has he? Has he but god ghost? damn it, is he handsome. I can't, I can't see fit to fire him because he's just so good to look at. He's a, he's a young Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I prefer the young... <laughs> young Jake Gyllenhaal, huh? Young Jake Gyllenhaal. Young, young Brad Pitt. <laughs> I am the young Brad Pitt. Yeah. The Another... What yeah. was I going... I saw a Dick Cavett interview where he was talking to Jimi Hendrix, and they're actually talking about something. All like, I heard was Dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you're just... You're ready. You're waiting for it, huh? Oh, yeah. Tyrone gonna get up in that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle show shot. I'm sure a quarter of you won't know what that means. Click clack, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Dave Chappelle. I still haven't even seen his Netflix specials. It's pretty good. I thought they were good. Yeah. I mean, the one of them you saw the ones that just came out a couple days yeah, ago. Yeah. A couple days ago. Yeah, it was like a week ago, maybe. A new one came. New couple came out. It must have been at least a week or two, because I watched. Yeah. I watched the first two that came out. Yeah. Then it was a couple months, then the next two. Yeah. 
yeah. one of them and the next two, he was sitting there hitting a vape the entire time, and I'm like, I mean, can you, are you at your best when you're super, <laughs> super high, David? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, I mean, Netflix is just throwing money, and he doesn't give a shit. Did like, you see? Uh, so you you saw the um, paradox, the uh, overfield paradox. paradox. Yeah. You liked it? Uh, I I actually enjoyed it. I was when I was watching it, I was really confused by how much hate there was of this movie. Yeah. It's uh it's uh has like a 16% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm baffled because it's like it's 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 got problems. Yeah. You know, it's very obvious that it was retooled in certain sections, but it's it's not that bad. It's just not that bad. Yeah. And it's really well shot and uh, there's some great actors in it. Did you do you know Third the act name? Is kind of awful. Do you know the name of the starring actress? Uh Goo Goo. <laughs> <laughs> She's hot though. She's fine. I thought it was Carrie Washington when I first no, saw the preview. No, no she. Yeah, Carrie she Washington's looks good. got a weave. She looks good for sure. She yeah. definitely looks a little bit like her in lower lights. <laughs> yeah. Give me, grant me that. Yeah. For a foot, quick second. Yeah. She's uh. She's fine, please. She's uh, oh man, I fucked that one. <laughs> It's oh. a fine piece of dark chocolate, if you know what I'm saying. I get it. I got you. Oh, I get it. Reminds me of my days on the plantation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, um, we are sponsored, officially now sponsored by Paula Dean Cookware. Um, and uh, Colonel Sanders. And we're also sponsored by Fresh Jokes. Find us uh, in the Alan Alda section, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Abe Fagoda section. Abe Fagoda. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. This, uh, I mean, I mean, we're just talking about Netflix. Like this is this is. Did a you shiny... see Bright? <laughs> yeah, it's Bright is fucking awful. But... See, I can't get. I've, in recent <laughs> years, I just Will Tom so Cruise, awful. Will Smith. Like I just can't. They take me it's, out of the movie it's, now. I mean, my firm belief. I mean, the guy who directed it is David Ayer. Yeah. And. He should never direct a movie that he doesn't write the screenplay for. What else has he written and directed? Uh, well, he wrote um, <clears throat> Fury. It was a World War II movie about yeah, tanks. Yeah, Brad Pitt. I didn't see it. He I remember did, it, it's, though. It's pretty decent. And End of Watch was decent. Didn't see it. Pena. Um, uh, Michael Pena. Yeah, Jake, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. And, um, you know, he wrote Training Day. And, um, you know, if he has ample time to write a script... And he, it means what, something to They him? just sort of drop it on his lap or something? Well, no, Suicide Squad. He had, like, three weeks to write the script <laughs> okay. for that. And, you know, he rushed it into production, so. Another one. I don't really remember much about it. Yeah. I mean, except I, for it reminded me a lot of the Avengers. Yeah, all well, the blue lasers in the sky. No, know? just that plus they were just fighting. <sighs> I think fighting, they were clay uh, people. Yeah, clay or just, like, say, blue like, people. Clay, like, black. It's either blue people or black people. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're the only ones who are allowed to black fight. People. Black people meaning aliens, okay? We're not talking about African they, they, black yeah, we're talking people, about tar, okay? We were talking about tar black people. <laughs> <laughs> the ones with Chuck Spears feathers. in the movies? No, right? they, they were missing the feathers on them and the skin peeling. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm in flashbacks to Candyman for some reason. <laughs> and I still have not seen Candyman. Uh, it's it's okay. Yeah. Virginia Madsen. The one black girl, we keep bringing, we are progressive. We like yeah. to bring up race. The so, one black girl in it was in every 90s. She was the black girl in every 90s movie. And, and, I, and uh, Candyman? Candyman. Yeah, I've never seen it, so I don't know who you're talking about. Let me, <clears throat> let me take a quick peek. Every, I feel like I can't be the only one who feels this way. Like, I just see random women and I'm like, yeah, you for look a long familiar. time, and then they're gone from movies. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, that's the way with Hollywood, you know. Once one reaches reach a certain age, it's like, yeah, kick yeah. your ass out the door. Bitch, you're looking old. <laughs> Famke Jensen has lasted a while. Yes, and she has a lot of plastic surgery. I mean, she yeah. looks... I mean, my God, her face looks so no fucked vinyl? up. Oh, my God. I haven't God. seen her in anything recent in a while. Awful. Or if I did, I didn't she recognize her. She was on Netflix her. show, uh... Uh, the, the one about the werewolves or whatever. They have a werewolf yeah, it was show? A shitty horror show. I like, just watched Hemlock Stranger Grove. Things. Hemlock Grove. Yeah, it was fucking... I, I'd, it looks like Ted shit. Raimi was in Candyman. Ted Raimi. Cassie Lemons. That's gotta be her name. What else was she in, huh? Mm. Silence of the Lambs. She was the friend to uh, Jodie Foster. Yeah, Criterion just put out a Silence of the Lambs. I love Criterion. Well, I don't think it has come out yet. 
Yeah, but maybe, it's going to. Yeah, like March, I think. Yeah, that's one worth picking up. See, the problem is they have their big thing is they have all these extras. Whenever I buy a movie, I don't give a damn about the extras. I just want really? the movie oh. to be the best. I just want to watch the movie. Yeah, I mean, I want to own a physical copy of the movie. That too. And, and the best yeah. transfer of the movie. Uh, do they do 4K you know, Blu-ray yet? Criterion? Yeah. No, but they're they're start they're doing 4K transfers, so they're thinking about the future. Yeah. Um, because obviously, 4K Blu-rays probably aren't selling the greatest. Because I don't think a lot of people have 4K TVs yet. It hasn't gotten mainstream enough. Yeah. Well, it's, it's only like a limited selection. Like not every movie that. And also, a lot of the 4K Blu-rays aren't real 4K. You know, a lot yeah. of these movies are 2K DIs. They're not 4K DIs. What is so. a 2K DI? It was shot in 2K, but they... No, <clears throat> no the movie can be shot in 6K, 8K, <laughs> but if it's mastered in 2K, it's it's a 2K movie. So yeah. It's basically almost like a regular Blu-ray. Okay. And that defeats the purpose of, of shooting your movie in 4K, because if you, if you shoot your movie in 4K and you master it in 4K, then that's the best that, that movie's ever going to look. Like, yeah. the same version as in the theater. Well, is, a lot of know. things people don't realize is basically all movies from 98 to, like, 2010, 2011 cannot be in 4K. There's yeah. no physical way for them to be. Yeah, I mean, if a movie was shot in 1080p, you the best it's going to look is yeah. 1080p. Yeah, uh, they can just maybe upscale it, but yeah, they can that's upscale about it. it. And I don't believe in upscaling because you're then altering the vision of the movie. You're yeah. changing everything, so... Uh, I don't believe in upscaling, but, um, yeah, I mean, so you have to look at, you know, a lot, there's a site called Real or Fake 4K, so, you know. They keep you, track, keep yeah, tabs on yeah, it. Yeah, if you go on IMDB, they see if, what the, the digital intermediate was, you know, what it was shot on, and, like, if a movie was, there's a lot of movies that get shot in 2.8K and 3.4K. Well, I do all this weird stuff, like, is a 8K it's just better, camera just way more expensive? Well, yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the, like, the red camera that shoots in 4K... I always hear people like, talking about that. That's, like, like, the shit. big go-to camera, red. No, it, actually, Ari Alexa is what most directors yeah. use, because it's more like... It looks more like film. What did... <clears throat> how did Quentin Tarantino shoot the Hateful Eight? Was it just on shot an on old... Film. Just an old camera? Yeah, he shot it on, like, a giant, like, fucking 65... I watched some quick special about it or something. Yeah. I don't remember he where. shot it in, like, panoramic, and the, the same lenses that they shot Ben-Hur on he used, and, and I fucking hate that movie. I just hate that fucking movie. I think it's this movie awful. reminded me... I forgot to mention this. Peter Rabbit reminded me of The Master at one point. Can you really? guess which point? Reminded you of The Master. It was very early on. <sighs> Wow, because I'm trying to think of the, the one thing that sticks out from the Masters when Joaquin Phoenix is like fucking a sand, the fuck the sand. <laughs> like that's my go-to. Did you like the Master? No, I, I didn't like the Master. You didn't like it? No. Did, how many times did you see it? it? Just once? once? I'll never watch it again. Try it again. Oh God, I don't. Remember. What didn't you like about it? Uh, I mean, it was just too strange, a little too awkward. Well, the thing is, I mean, it's about you know, it's it's got it's about it's basically about you know, Ron Hubbard, yeah. yeah. And I, I have such an adverse fucking reaction to those well, then, kind of people. Well, yeah, then you should have been better. That's no, kind of the point of the movie, showing you what a piece of shit this guy is. I mean, the thing is, is the movie wants you to fall under the spell of the movie. Yeah. And if I have my arms crossed the whole movie... You're not going to fall under the spell. Like yeah, me with this cause, one. Right, because, I mean, the thing is, is, like, I, if you've ever had a Jehovah's Witness come to your fucking yeah. house... And try to talk to you. Like, it's a really awkward. And you're like, get the fuck out of the way from me. I'm usually pretty easy. I just... No, I'm not interested. Have a good day, man. Just yeah, close the door. It's, it's just really awkward. I live in a bad area. I saw two of them walking <laughs> so by. Walk. I saw two of them walking by the other know. day, and they skipped my house. They saw yeah. me. They didn't. They looked for a second, and then they crossed like, the street. Yo, man, I'm crackheads in that motherfucker. <laughs> I just, why can't I ever? Get, we gotta get shanked up in this I'm bitch. not good enough to be a Jehovah's, to be solicited. <laughs> it's like, please indoctrinate me in your cult. <laughs> I want to be in your cult, man. The scene that reminded Same me man. of the master. What was that? It was in the beginning when he's freaking out at work because he didn't get the promotion. And he's oh, smashing Oh, yeah, stuff. when he's in the department warehouse and he's like screaming at that one guy who's trying to take his picture. He has like a camera, right? Yeah. Something like that. 
And he's like yelling at him. Yeah, I did remember that. As I mean, soon as I started, he's reason... great in the master. But yeah. I just didn't. I, just, I get that. I got it's it. So fucking long too. I oh, watch. I rewatched long. it. It's God, not hey. that long. It's like long, dude. It's how is long. it? How long is it? I swear to God, I, I think... just want to say it's two hours and forty minutes. Yeah, that's what I think. It's fucking long. And I love I watched... long movies, but that is way too long. It's a tough watch. It's, it's like 2001 brutal. A Space Odyssey for most people. you got to realize the pacing that you're going Space into. Odyssey's it. Like two hours long. Two, it's like two, two and time. a half. Yeah, now i got to check that. I think it's 2.15 max. Let's um, see. It's my favorite film, actually, by the I way. I think it's two hours. Yeah. How long is it, Jared? Two hours and 41 minutes. I mean, minutes. how long wow. is it, David? Wow. Dickie? <laughs> I'm losing track of my bits here, guys. I'm going insane. Wow, this one's 241. What up to the so master? So that whole Space Baby sequence and the flickering lights last for 41 minutes. Because I swear to God, like, at hour 47 is, like, when I'm, like, in love with the movie. And yeah. So, yeah, there must be 40 minutes of that movie where I'm just like, fuck this movie. I, um... Two hours and 30 minutes. So, yeah. hey, that was only 10 minutes off. Oh, fuck nah. you. <laughs> the, um... The thing about 2001, that part is where... That, 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 I love that part that it takes you out of it. Once, <clears throat> once uh, I can't remember is that the actor's name, but when Pierre he's in, yeah, when when you're focused on him and he's yeah. in the spacesuit towards the end of the movie, and you start seeing all the the lights reflecting on his space helmet, that's yeah. when the movie should end. Yeah. Right fucking there, the movie ends. Yeah, very ambiguous ending. And that's then, not the point of the movie, though. Yeah, well, yeah, he smashes the fucking projector. Is the point of the movie, and he sabotages this movie. Oh. <laughs> all right. He I'll had a masterpiece, it. arguably the greatest movie ever made, yeah. and then he fucking destroyed it. Okay. That's that's the way I feel. The whole point of the movie to me that's is... That's why there's the saying, the Kubrickian ending. Yeah. <laughs> that, that third act just destroying Give your Give me film. another example. What do you think another third act that ruined a uh, Kubrick movie? No, I think a lot of people would argue The Shining. They don't yeah. like the way that movie kind of goes. I, like, I love the ending. I didn't. Stephen even, King doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> well, because it's Stephen King's book. He wants yeah, it to be just like course, his book. Yeah. Kubrick wants it to be his movie. I mean, listen, you Barry Lyndon, I think, is a steaming pile. Of Never shit. watched it. It's Fucking a long movie, and I know it's going to be boring, so I, I don't even get into it. Gorgeous cinematography. Pads of Glory. Tell me the third act of Pads of Glory well, is the I, best I, part. I think uh, Pads of Glory is a movie that's totally separate from that problem. Yeah. Um, Do you ever and, see The Killing? Yeah, and I actually saw it. It's kind of boring to I me. Saw, yeah, I saw The Killing and The Killer's Kicks. The Criterion they had both of them. And I hated them both of them. I was like, what What I noticed was... I don't um, hate The Killing, but it's just... It's, it's like a movie of the boring, time. It's dude. just boring, There's man. There's way better film noir yeah. than that. It's just like... I was... It's insufferable to me. And I understand it inspired a lot of people. And for the time, probably. Yeah. Really great. Um, you know, the beginning of The Dark Knight where they have all the clown masks on. That's... Yeah, I forgot film. about that. You're right. This guy has a clown mask. It's the exact I didn't think same about that. clown mask. Um, it is. Yeah, I never totally, noticed that. Yeah, Christopher Nolan. Loves it's on because it's on the cover of the Criterion Collection one. Yeah. We keep bringing up the Criterion Collection. Hey guys, I'd nice. love to see a Blu-ray copy yeah. of the Third yeah. Man. I mean, listen, they don't have to pay us. So they just let us go into the closet and pick out. All yeah, the just hook us up. Just walk right Be in. Nice. <laughs> walk right into the hey, closet. I'm a purchaser. <laughs> I just bought Blood Simple like two months ago. <laughs> When Barnes and Noble had their half off sale, guys. That's Barnes and Noble bucks, too. Right? Hook me up. Yeah, you got it for what, twenty bucks? Yeah, give or take. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's worth it. It's the ending of two thousand one, that's the part where you're like it all the comes thing, together. The, the, you're questioning. My, the whole point of the movie is you're supposed is to question what's going the, on. The you're supposed to come up with it yourself. And the book were being written at the same time. Yeah. And the uh the guy who wrote the book you know, I don't think that what he what he did in the book does not align with yeah, the movie. Because they were he had a different idea and it's the same thing with Stephen King. Kubrick yeah. had his movie. Yeah. Uh but like I said, they were being Conan. written at the same fucking time. Yeah. That's the thing. It was based on a uh, short work by of his earlier. I think it was called like the Leviathan yeah. or and it, uh, it's, something like that. My biggest problem with the ending of two thousand one is that it leaves you I mean listen, you know, ambiguous endings and, and you know, not knowing is okay, but the problem is, is there was a sequel made, 2010. I saw it. Unwatchable. The, the the problem is that when you look for answers and you're searching, you know, you then you're watching that movie or you know going down the rabbit hole of the internet. Well, that's the no thing about that movie, movie for me. It's about questions. It's about yeah. holy shit. Do you really think that yeah. like humanity is going to be flung forth in some sort of 
I mean, crazy evolutionary step like this. Like, yeah, I don't well, know. obviously it's about the dangers of AI. I mean. Which, which I love that portion of the movie. Which I is thought almost that was the whole entire movie. I thought that was really minor. I thought that was just it. Really? Hell was, How? It was just not the dangers of maybe. I mean, like the whole interesting part of the movie to me is is how and yeah. them being stuck in. How do you feel about the beginning with the apes and stuff? Do you think it goes on too long? <laughs> I think it works really well. It, I mean, I when I first saw the movie, Cause he, I was like, Ooh. yeah, what's well, it's I okay. Did too. It's okay. Well, the thing is, you're, he's trying to tell you something visually, so you can't really come out and say the apes can't come out and talk like a certain rabbit and say, <laughs> "Oh, we're just dumb apes, but we're gonna go touch this giant thing from the monolith." The monolith. Pardon me. <laughs> Get it right, motherfucker. This channel was originally going to be your called favorite movie, you The mean, Monolith. Really? Wow. Yes. That's actually a pretty good title. For a YouTube That's channel. my uh, Nobody artsy would production click on it. house. They wouldn't even know no. what you were doing. <laughs> they, uh, there was a monolith in the new Power Rangers movie. Yeah, the new Power Rangers movie. Um, I actually liked uh, a lot of it. Yeah. Everything that wasn't Power Rangers, I liked. But it was just like a teen movie, and these yeah. kids talking. I was like, yeah, this is kind of fun. But then when uh, they had Power Rangers stuff, I was like, wow, this is awful. This is just terrible. <laughs> I didn't see it. Oh, you didn't? Oh, okay. I saw the cinema sins of it. Your favorite, <laughs> so, your favorite yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, the great hack fraud cinema sins. I definitely agree with you. A lot of their stuff is way too long, if, and their jokes yeah. definitely oh, don't hit. So long. But there's certain times where it just it really gets yeah. me. I, I mean, listen, if you want to never watch their channel ever again, just watch their Django Unchained. Uh, um, discussion. I mean, everything that is wrong with that movie, they don't even talk about. Did we talk about this last time? <laughs> No, we never okay. <laughs> talked about Django last time. Okay. Um, yeah. No, Cinema Sense fucking sucks. I think. What's your I mean, go, uh, What's your go to movie review channel? Movie I, talking, red, movie joke you know, channel. Yeah, I mean Red Letter Media. I like. Um, obviously, yeah. they're great. Um, and uh, free plug. <laughs> yeah, free plug. Yeah, they really need it. They're only making like ten thousand dollars a month from Patreon or something. <laughs> <laughs> I if I guys if I ever set up a Patreon I will never announce it. You're gonna have to find it. I'm no whore unless like, it's unless so, you offer me like ten million. It's so a month. funny like everyone trying to do a Patreon uh, because the success of Patreon is well just think about doing it something like for years and years yeah. and years and then people you know like you it's. You can't, everyone's yeah. like, oh yeah, hey, give me money, support me, <laughs> give me. <laughs> I kind of like it as a model, though. Yeah, like, it's great. If if you don't have ads and stuff, or sponsors. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, is like, uh, with, with Red Letter Media, everything would get copyright claimed, because like, yeah. they show footage of trailers Well, you can show footage, but it's got to be, they oh, really? do weird. You're talking about showing footage, huh? I mean, I'm not you saying I'm... You re-upload all your shit. I'm not talking, <laughs> I'm not saying I've tested this out, or done any real real research but <laughs> i'm saying for any entrepreneurial filmmakers out there i'd right. say keep it under 13 seconds. 14 seconds and just for insurance maybe do a strange a weird aspect Throw ratio shit in there. yeah maybe i put, put it upside some, down <laughs> i claimed i claimed that uh I speculated. I didn't claim anything, FYI, for legality's sake. I alleged, <laughs> I speculated that Kaz Harai, the CEO of Sony, may eat babies. He made babies. May eat babies. May eat babies, huh? All the time. Do you know why I did this? Why? Does he have, like, some type of, like, uh, some cancer or something? No. Like Christopher Reeve, who was eating infants? <laughs> <laughs> because they took Sorry. down, they copyright claimed my video drone video. Do they own it, Sony? They well, they the did. Well, before oh, I took wow. it down, really, wow. And then re-uploaded it, <laughs> yeah, and then put re another, and then copied it with it backwards right after, yeah. immediately after. Yeah. That's the thing. You're just bringing up that Christopher Reeve and Baby South Park. <laughs> They're the only ones that can do politics. Yeah, well. South Park. They, they, they come off a little ham-fisted sometimes, they, a little fucking ignorant, but... They don't care what nah. you think of them. They're never going to apologize for everything, anything they do. Comedy Central is never going to take them off the air, no matter how fucked up they, you know, do something. Nah. And, you know, I mean, listen, we grew up in an age where... Did you know real that PC they showed Muhammad way long ago in an episode... But nobody ever said anything. I've seen that episode play on reruns, and they didn't censor it or anything. Mm -hmm. It was one where, like, 
for some reason it was like Jesus and Muhammad and Buddha and mm -hmm. Vishnu or something were like the super friends. Really? It was just a throwaway gag, but yeah, I mean, nobody yeah. ever said anything about it. Yeah. Anyways, why I bring it up is... <laughs> There was this one joke they just did, and Peter I Rabbit? I loved it. It was so good. This joke made me made me think of it because there of James Corden. Of South Park? Uh, probably not too long ago, because Kathy Griffin was in it. Like, uh, oh, wow, somebody Griffin. was somebody was on stage giving a speech or a lecture or something, saying like, "They'll do what the PC thugs will do to you, what they did to Kathy Griffin." And then stands dead in the crowd. What make her funny? Not funny for thirty years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's Kathy my Griffin thoughts on is, James Corden. Graffy, Kathy Griffin is not funny. She's never been funny. She was on Just Shoot Me. Or <laughs> one of those shows. She was on Just Shoot Me. Jay, David Spade was on Just Shoot Me. Who, which one was she in on? The ball Caroline game. in the City. Caroline in the City. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. See, my recollection, I remember so that many times. Me back to the, that made me think about the nanny. Remember that show? Oh, my God. She was She's in like, Hotel hey, Transylvania. Hey. She's uh, somebody's <laughs> wife in Her Hotel voice, Transylvania. Really? I, <laughs> Beautician and the Beast, underrated Beautician. classic. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Trust me, I trust I me. See it, totally see it. See it. Everyone out there, Beautician and the Beast. There's one thing to see take away it. from this discussion: watch Beautician and the Beast, and not Peter Rabbit, <laughs> unless some um, you bring rabbits with you to the theater yeah, and well, let them run loose. As we said in the last, uh, if anybody, uh, again, by the way, if anybody has any spare rabbits, send them to Rudy Land. Care of Rudy Land. Mars, Jupiter. <laughs> Send us your rabbits. I, that's another reason why I was so disappointed in this movie. A, a secret love of mine, a secret passion, obsession. Rabbits still? I love bunnies. Oh, you love bunnies. I huh? love bunnies. They're so yeah. cute. They're so yeah. soft. They're, they're cute uh, to a point. Cause, what do you mean? Like, if, if you keep them in a cage... Then they they live the cage lifestyle, <laughs> you know. He but was, if you take them out of a cage, yeah, and then you try to put them back in the cage, they will become the meanest things ever and bite you. And my roommate for a brief time, I took had freedom for a brief time. <laughs> me and my roommate had to take on a third roommate, right. a three-way roommate wow. situation, three if you way. will. All I heard was three-way. No sex, <laughs> thankfully, because it was all three dudes, and I'm pretty sure none of us are gay. <laughs> I'm not Pretty at least. Sure. I'm. I can. I can't uh, speak for them. I can. I, I can only speak have for these me. Butter sticks around. <laughs> <laughs> you just in case you need extra grease, man. You never yeah, know when you need some think about lubricants. That. Yeah. Well, Marlon Brando. You know they say he fucked Richard Pryor. He uh, <laughs> my and Marvin My Gay. creative writing teacher told me that in class. He's like, yeah, did you didn't know Marlon Brando was a huge and he had an abortionist on one cue card and he had his boyfriend on the other. <laughs> Yeah, he was... He was in Night of the Living Dead remake, yeah, my creative really. writing teacher. Yeah. He, uh... He really got up in that ass. <laughs> he was a passionate man. And there's a... It was an I'm a fucker! <laughs> he had this... I could have been a fighter! <laughs> I could have been a, fu a fucker! <laughs> he, I was listening to Charlie Hunnam. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's on Sons of Anarchy. Played the main guy. And I've he, seen him. He got, like, some acting show. advice from Charlie Hunnam. Uh, from Marlon Brando, he asked uh, he asked Marlon Brando like, "How do you know if you're like you know good in a scene? Like if you're doing really good?" And he said, "Check your asshole." And he said, "Check your asshole." <laughs> what do you mean? He's like, "If you feel back there and it's puckered, you know you're doing good." <laughs> and uh, so right. obviously, if Marlon Brando's asshole was puckered, he was doing the fucking. <laughs> oh, I can never for Marlon Brando. He's one who like. <laughs> He's had some good roles, but I think... Yeah, Apocalypse Now, pretty good. I was just going to bring that up. Pretty good. Apocalypse Now is by far my favorite role of his, and they only shot the top <laughs> for like third minutes. of him. He, was like so he made that movie. Yeah. I just love the scene of him just like that sponge on he his hit, he hit. It hit me like a, a diamond bullet in the center of my brain. Yeah. They... They little inoculated arms cutting it off so crystal clear. And he basically like improv like all the scenes. Like he didn't like nah. he basically refused to say anything that Coppola writ. Like for the most he part. He done writ anything he writ. <laughs> anything he writ. It's, anything he wrote. He's good, but like I'm trying to think of an yeah. example, but like I don't know. Uh, I watched that movie on the waterfront, boring. I thought it was boring. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I'm trying to think of great Marlon Brando movies. I'm, I was never a big fan of them. 
I remember the one factoid I remember is one of his last movies was uh, the score. I saw it. Robert De Niro. I remember. It, they had to it shoot was him. Awful. They had to shoot him waist up. He was sitting the entire film <laughs> because he was in his underpants. He refused to put pants on the whole film. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do you see the score? Yeah, I did. It's I really, liked it. <laughs> it's, I Edward saw it Norton's once. Really I was, good. I was not a big fan. Yeah. Well, Edward Norton said he only did the movie because uh, Robert De Niro and Marlon Brando were in it. He said the script was shit. He's doing Marlon, not Marlon Brando. He's, He's not doing anything dead, as of late. Robert De Niro ground. and Joe Pesci and Scorsese are doing yeah. something on Netflix. Yeah, I guess is yeah. is it about Whitey Bulger or something? No, no, it's not about Whitey Bulger. It's it's about some guy who supposedly killed. Uh, uh, what the fuck's his name? The guy who they think's buried in the in Jimmy giant Hoffa. state. Yeah, Jimmy Hoffa. Jack Nicholson. I was gonna say Robert De Niro portrayed Jimmy Hoffa, but it was in fact Jack Nicholson. Yeah, I never saw Hoffa. Danny I didn't DeVito see it directed it. I know that. You ever see War of the Roses? Yeah, I remember not liking it. It's it's like whatever. Uh, it starts out pretty funny, and then it gets kind of sad and depressing towards well, the end. Well, that's kind of Danny DeVito's directing style. Death to Smoochie, I don't really remember, oh, but I do remember it being kind of issues. depressing. I think it's like a I just saw it on, like, Comedy classic. Central. I never yeah, saw it, like, um, totally uncut. Underrated. Way ahead of its time. Yeah. Total flop, uh, but uh, way ahead of its time. I think it's so funny. And uh, he also did, you know, Throw Mama from a Train, which is really, really I do fucking like, dark comedy. I do like Throw Mama from a Train. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, and that's why he, you know, he did. He was so perfect for Sonny, you know, because of that dark I love summer. Sonny. Yeah, it's great. I, Supposedly, Dennis isn't going to be uh, the next season. He's yeah. got his own show, I guess. Yeah. How disturbing is it that Jack Ryan is going to be played by the guy from The Office? John Krasinski. Did you see Thirteen Hours where he has a beard and he's a badass? No, I can't. He was do decent it. in that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, As, I, I saw the preview. I didn't like the movie. It's I not s- a bad. I movie, saw the preview for like whatever that. the Jack Ryan show is or movie. Oh, during the Super Bowl. Yeah, and I'm just yeah. like, I didn't know it was a Jack Ryan movie. I'm like, they're going to really put this guy as the tough badass guy? Yeah. All right. He's married to Emily Blunt. Seriously? Lucky man. I saw some gay face- Facebook post where it's like he and Pam got together in real life or something. She looks like shit. She's yeah. Oh my you God. ever see Walk Hard? She yeah. looks real good in Walk Hard. I always I remember that. I she was in. I forgot the movie so much. The only thing I remember about that movie... Was the scene where it was like brothers and like the wood chipper in the beginning? <laughs> That's <laughs> like... not wood chipper. He cut him in half with a goddamn machete. <laughs> Get your shit right, man. That's how that's how much of an impression it left on me. I can't remember. I really anything. thought it was really funny. Yeah, I, I own it on sucks. DVD. I think. Wow. DVD, yeah. Good Couldn't old. Even buy a Blu-ray of it, you cheap fuck. Well, <laughs> for two or three bucks on Black Friday at Best Buy. Best Buy free plug. Hook me up with a switch. Best Buy is uh, man, they're going down the tubes. They're they put all the s- movies in the corner. They're getting yeah. rid of CDs. Yeah, all that's the what movies I was say, got dude. moved to the corner they're as not, well. That's on CDs, and they're putting all the Blu-rays in the back. And I, there's sometimes I really am scared that um, physical media is all going to disappear. Yeah, yeah, it won't. It'll always be niche. You know, I mean, vinyl is huge right now for a lot of I, people. Speaking of vinyl, somebody, <laughs> if not for this podcast, and somebody going to a random record store in the mall that has a total of four stores. <laughs> I got a Donovan album for two bucks. I don't even think the I've best heard of Donovan. Donovan. You never heard of Donovan? I don't think so. The uh, he sang uh, Mellow Yellow. Me- they call me Mellow Yellow. Yeah, Hurdy Gurdy Man. You remember oh, yeah. Zodiac? Yeah. Hurdy Gurdy Man oh, comes yeah. singing songs of love. Where you love yeah. like heaven. That's been through the ringer too. That. Uh, that well, metal. it's got to be from like the seventies, yeah. man. And how much you pay for it? You said two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. The disc is in great shape. Really? You looked at it? They let you well, look yeah. at it? Yeah. yeah. That's standard record store yeah. etiquette. You gotta check the. You gotta check yeah, the record. The needle fucked it up at all. Yeah. I went to a. Um, yeah. I went to. Oddly enough, I went to a uh, rescue mission store. One of those thrift stores. Oh, I got. Fifty shopper. Yeah, I got a. Like hundred and twenty dollar monitor for six bucks, just without any cords, and I got a wow. Sergio Mendez trio featuring Wanda De Sa album. So do you have like a really good setup and everything with speakers? And it's good, okay. You got a good needle and everything. You got to get that special. Needle. It's a nice Audio Technica. No yeah. special needle just, or nothing. Just, just I found much. I didn't buy any do any of that weird. I don't have a tubes or amplifiers or oh, nothing. I amp, just yeah. I just hook it straight up to my sound system. Yeah. It's just a Sony. 
It's a Sony 5.1 channel many, with a Blu-ray player. Uh, how many uh, uh, vinyls do you have? Probably 100, 150. Many wow. of them I will never listen to. I've inherited them. Wow, holy shit, that's a lot. There's a lot of, like, trash. Yeah. Why don't you just sell it then? Too sentimental? No, I gotta. I want to listen to them all. Figure out if I really don't oh, want right, them yeah. or not. I mean, you if know? you've never listened to it, yeah, you should probably give it a go. You know, might be some good shit on there. Everybody out there, we're gonna close out because it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. We're yes. gonna close out with our record picks, our top vinyl <laughs> top for vinyl. February fourteenth. First, <laughs> Gypsy King self-titled album, nineteen eighty-seven, Bambaleo, um, Joe B. Joe ba. A mi manera, dynamite hits. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a deep cut. <laughs> How about you, Dicky? Um, Dicky, what's uh, uh, what are you listening to on February fourteenth? I'd, I'd go with uh, Black Sabbath, Paranoid. Okay. Classic album. Uh, you know, you got Paranoid on there. You got War Pigs. You know the the classics. And, uh, this is gonna have to be. We're gonna go at least. My favorite, my favorite Black Sabbath song of all time, Planet Caravan. I'm not, I don't is, think I've heard it. I like. It's, uh, it's, it's more I of a like psychi- paranoid, psychedelic. psychedelic. Yeah, and it's unbelievable. One of the greatest songs ever made. So if you're uh, if you're looking for the vinyl, pick up uh, Black Sabbath. Since paranoid. I just thought of yeah. one more, we'll do one more each. Oh god! At least one more <laughs> each, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll fucking one. we'll shut we'll shut it down, and we'll then give down, our final yeah. final. <laughs> okay. Our very final verdicts of Peter Rabbit. <laughs> the next one, Superfly, Curtis Mayfield. <laughs> oh, wow. I um. They have a new one available. Mm-hmm. It's got orange vinyl. I have one of the classic ones. I'm a classic guy. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. I love the I love the way he plays music and puts it together. And his silky smooth voice. Yeah. Fred is dead. <laughs> wow. That was a beautiful rendition. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my cover band is playing many <laughs> metropolitan areas yeah, this my, summer. My cover band is playing under a bridge near you. <laughs> 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 right next to the uh, hooker giving a gummer. <laughs> hooker giving a gummer. Tracy's still down there. Oh, <laughs> uh, so for my final pick is is one of the greatest albums of all time. This really was a random, <laughs> random talk. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the White Album from the Beatles. Okay. Uh, they never toured it, so. Um, it's just got some of the greatest music of all time. They never toured it because of the Manson murders. And, uh, you know, just uh, Happiness is a Warm Gun. Unbelievable song. While My Guitar Gently Sleeps. Great soul from Clapton in it. Uh, While well, ju- well, My Guitar Gently Weeps. Okay. I was <laughs> like, wait, is it sleeps or is it <laughs> Sorry, weeps? I yeah, got confused myself. There's a lot of smoke in this car. I'm getting confused. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. It's awful smoky out here tonight. Maybe we should. Someone's uh, burning garbage outside. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Metropolitan Wisconsin, a lovely place to live. Yeah, there's lots of cheese wheels. Uh, just because you brought it up, I gotta say it. For anyone out there, I like a few Beatles songs. They're like Dave Matthews Dude, to me, the though. White overrated. They Wait, definitely Beatles have. Are a, overrated? Yeah, they definitely have oh, a few. Good, I like the Kinks on, way dude. better. I love the Kinks. Get the fuck out of here. Peter Just, Rabbit. Dude, dude, Peter dude. Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> we'll get back into it. We'll get more into it at a later date. Somebody needs a beer enema currently. A beer enema. Peter yeah. Rabbit 4. Totally idiotic. Run of the mill. You've seen it. A th- if you've seen a kid's movie, you've seen this a thousand times. Mm-hmm. Don't even get it for your four year old nephew. No. Yeah. Um, they play Crash into me. <laughs> Yeah, uh, don't uh, d- don't pay any money for this movie. You know, even if you got movie pass, uh, just just avoid this. Don't waste your time. Um, you know, I mean, I don't even want to say that parents should turn this on, like if it's on Netflix for their children, because it'll just make them stupider. <laughs> you know, I just, feel stupider. <laughs> I feel much stupider. There's, there's way better stuff for kids out there, and. Um, yeah, it's it's a three out of ten. The music montage is making a three out of ten for me. Well, that's just part <laughs> for the course for movies yeah. nowadays. Just uh, I don't know. I mean, this music video is loosely we, combined. Yeah. It's I mean, he might have even been a music video director before this. Well, look Who at knows? David Fincher, man. Yeah, David Fincher, Francis Lawrence, um, the guy who. Uh, uh, the, uh, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of them. 
This has been Movie Talking, a podcast. Skibbity pop boop boo.